We are experiencing more and more extreme weather disasters due to climate change. Maybe you've even been through one yourself. Fires in Colorado and California, tornadoes in Kentucky, more frequent hurricanes, extreme heat waves, the list goes on. There is a lot on the line. The situation is getting worse and we don't have much time to turn things around. We all need to do our part, but the federal government needs to lead the way. We need action this year from Congress on two tracks, congressional appropriations and budget reconciliation. Every year through the appropriations process, Congress decides what the federal government will spend money on and how much. This year, Congress needs to make sure it delivers on the pledges the United States made under the Paris Agreement and since, including to deliver financial assistance to developing countries to help them adapt to climate change, transition to clean energy, and protect their tropical forests and other important ecosystems. Through the reconciliation process, Congress can quickly pass major new climate investments that will make a real difference, dramatically reducing U.S. emissions and building the resilience of America's communities and nature. If Congress fails to pass such a package before the end of the year, we'll be left to cobble together climate solutions through executive actions and more modest bills. That would take a whole lot longer and be easier to block or reverse. Driving bold climate action this year through both increased climate appropriations and a finalized reconciliation bill is the best chance we have to build the economy we need for our future and to keep that future safe from runaway climate change. We have to make this moment count and we need Congress to act now.